So this is going to be a little bit weird. Um, <laughs> if I try to film how to use a Zoom meeting um, using my on-screen recorder with my phone, um, I lose audio because Zoom wants to take over the audio so that I can communicate with the participants in that meeting. So the only way that I can do this is to film my desktop from my phone. So that's what you're seeing here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, this is what would happen if I was at a property and I was going to be using Zoom to do a virtual tour. I'm sorry, a virtual open house or a virtual showing. I would go to a new meeting. There I am. Hello. And I would join with computer audio. And then I would add participants. I would invite those participants. And I would choose that um, either by uh, entering an email address, um, such as here, um, using Gmail. Um, I can use Yahoo or default, or I can open up my contacts. Um, and I can just invite people the way that you normally would. Um, now, I'm not going to do that right now, but you would just simply type in an email address. Um, if we go to Gmail here, it's going to open up my email account and compose a message. And of course, I can then send that to whomever I choose, like so. And there is all the information about the meeting, including the link to the meeting, etc. So let's go back to Zoom here. Um, boy, this probably is really weird. It's like the vortex. I'm talking to myself, talking to myself, watching myself talk to myself or something along those lines. But that is all there is to it. Now, if I was on my, um, on my phone right now, I would have an option to flip the camera to the, to the uh, other facing way so that I could walk through the property. And I'd be able to communicate with my clients and walk through the property. So very, very easy to use. Um, and then, of course, when I'm done here, I'm just going to simply end the meeting.